Hello Raven Coin lovers. <clears throat> this is Raven Rebels with a video about how to build stuff on Raven using Electrum Server, Node.js and JavaScript. Electrum Server uh, makes it possible for you to uh, connect to the net network with a thin client. You don't need a wallet yourself. Uh, so you don't use, in this case we will not use uh, Raven Core wallet. We usually always do this, uh, but no, no. We will use Electrum. So what is Electrum uh, Ravencoin? Well, um, there is a project on GitHub. Check this out. And it has a, a client and a server. And we want to make a Node.js program, so we don't need a client. But I have actually installed this um, client on uh, Windows. It's a very nice, um, lightweight wallet. <clears throat> Looks like this. But what we like with this is that then you can go to Tools and Network and you can say, aha, name of uh, Ravencoin uh, uh, Electrum servers. So let's uh, take one of them servers, like this one, and connect to it from Node.js. And how do we do that? Uh, first off, we need to have a library for the Electrum client. And I'll find one when I Google around from someone called Code Warrior. I have no idea if it's good. So let's check Code Warrior Electrum. And it's a Code Warrior with double R. Here we go. Here we have it. So let's take this one and create a project. Um, make deal. We call it elect. Okay. Elect our new product. Initialize it as an empty default product. Paste in this. Um, install the um, dependencies. And fire up. Um, fire up Visual Studio Code. Visual Studio Code is a free code editor. Very nice for JavaScript. Let's create a index file and see, here we have some sample code. So we take the sample code, paste in the sample code and we format it. And this will probably not work because this is Bitcoin and we are going for a Ravencoin uh, server. So let's go back to our um, Electrum client to networks and see that we had this server, however you pronounce that one. I thin uh, I thin .com, I thin .com. So this code says that it will just ask the blockchain for headers and print it out. So let's run it. Did not go so well. And maybe we should have a dot .com, not dot .on. Very nice. We connected to a Electrum X Ravencoin 110 server. That's nice. And uh, this client library comes with uh, some uh, lots of methods, but I mean, it, the library itself is a Bitcoin client library, so it will only have <coughs> what is available for Bitcoin. And Ravencoin is an extension of Bitcoin, so we have more stuff. But let's see if there is something else here that looks nice. Um, perhaps we can, for example, use um, server version server features sounds nice let's see what that gives us const features equals await client let's call this one and then we get the print out the answer the response run the code again and now we see that it's running a protocol max version 1.9 and if we go to the documentation for uh, Ravencoin server, <coughs> we want to see what else we can do. And if you scroll down, you have read the docs. And here you have uh, how to, and you can go to, um, oh, Electrum uh, protocol. Here we go. What methods do we have? And lots of stuff. And we would like to, let's say that we start by printing out metadata for a asset. So 
to search for metadata. Here we go. Here we have some something called uh, blockchain asset get meta. And it says that it's new from version 1.8. And we saw in our code that we are saying that we are 1.42. So let's bump that and say that we are 1.9. And we want to invoke this method. And our client library will probably not have this since it's a now it doesn't know what this is because we are on Ravencoin, right? So then we can check what we can find in this little library. We go into the code and you see that there has have something generic called like request method params. Sounds nice. This is what we want. So we will do um, const asset equals uh, Raven Rebels is name of an asset. And we say metadata equals await client, and it was a request, and it was first it was the method. So we just copy the method from here, this one. This is the name. This string is the method. And as arguments, as params, I guess we just send in an array with just the asset name. That should give us the metadata for this uh, asset. So we console log uh, metadata and it's this asset and it's uh, so we should print out metadata, the name of the asset and the metadata for that asset. And then we see, ta-da! Here we know everything about Raven Rebels. And to make this more um, Real time, let's go to a Raven coin asset explorer and see if there's there are any new. Here we go, we have lots of new um, assets on Raven coin. Let's take this one, sounds cool. Yggdrasil, that's the tree of vis wisdom in North mythology. So let's see if we can get some uh, metadata about this unique asset. We run it again, and ta-da, it worked. So here's the IPFS hash for that um, unique asset. So as you see, it's dead simple to do this. Just uh, search the documentation and you find the methods you want to do. And when I played around with this, I was like, yeah, now I want to see the balance of for an ad address. I want to see how much Ravencoin there is in an address or how many assets that address holds. And uh, when you want to do that, you can always go like search for Tron Black uh, burn address. Uh, Tron Black has a great um, Medium article blog post about uh, burn addresses in uh, Ravencoin. And here we go, here we have a burn address. So let's do const burn address equals. And now we want to know, okay, we want to ask the network how much Ravencoin there is in, um, in, this asset, in this address. And now it's getting tricky because if we go to the documentation and we will see that um, we have like balance get script okay get let's do this get script hash get balance and it should be <clears throat> that's the method name and it's a script hash that's the as a parameter and that kind of sucks because we have an address we don't have the the script hash for this address and now it's a bit tricky but we are happy because we uh, in another video when we were playing around with signing in with Ravencoin unique assets we learned about how to sign messages and stuff how to do more crypto programming so we actually have code already on github that does a lot of things so what we will do is um, we will go to GitHub and check out uh, whatever. Let's do this. Um, we have this um, sign message. And here we have some code. Here we go. 
<clears throat> and we are using the uh, Bitcoin JS lib um, project. And for us to be able to convert a Ravencoin address to a script tag, we need help. And we need help from this um, package. So let's install this dependency. We will also need to use a um, package called coin info. So let's copy coin info. npm install coin info. And now it will become a little bit tricky, but um, don't worry. So let's create a function, function, and we call it uh, get script hash from Ravencoin address. I like long names that really tell you what they are doing. And it will get the address as an argument. And we should return uh, the script hash. And first off, we need to, okay, we have Bitcoin and we have the coin info. Let's place it here. And we, this is strange. We have to do something like, we need the, the format of coin info dot ravencoin dot main dot two Bitcoin JS. This is just the syntax of coin info. So we ask them for info about Ravencoin. And then we have to define the uh, Ravencoin network. Actually, we do this in this other product, so I can copy it from. Um, this is the code we have here, right? Let's copy this one on GitHub, the, the one we have from Ravencoin sign message project. So now we have. Because we have to define what there is a difference between Ravencoin and Bitcoin, so we have to declare the, the difference. And Coin Info has all the info we need, so we know like what's the private and public bit, BIP32, blah, blah blah blah. So let's have that. And then we should do something like uh, first we should get a, a script. from the Bitcoin address dot to output script and we send in the address and we say that we are interested in the from network thing. So now we will get a script from that address. Now we have to convert that to a hash. SHA256 in the script. Now we have a hash. Don't ask me why. Now we have to reverse this hash. I have no idea why. And then we should return the hex value of the reversed hash. Very strange. Anyway, it should work. So let's see if we can take the burn address and get a script hash. Because it's it the documentation said that we needed a um, I can close this one. What was where was the documentation? Electrum Ravencoin. And we scroll to read the docs, and we saw that um, to be able to ask for um, asset balance, we needed the script hash. So we need to const script hash equals get script hash and burn address. So this is the value we should send to Electrum. 
And like we did here, we do a client request. So const assets. I don't know if is it assets balance or asset balances. Asset. Let, let's call it asset balance. And we say client request. And this is the value, the method we use. And we send in a little script hash. Script hash. And let's see if this works. Let's see if it, we now get, this is the burn address. We want to know all the <laughs> assets that has been sent to a burn address. Yeah, you know, of course, it should be a, um, should be an um, array, right? We think that all the parameters are always arrays. Aha, uh -huh, we call it burn address. Ah, here we go. Here we have lots of um, very strange um, assets that people have sent to this um, burn address. But at least now we can see all the assets in this um, address. That's nice. And you want to see the addresses. And of course, you also want to see what's the balance when it comes to Ravencoin, right? So let's do const raven balance await client request. And what now we need to know, okay, what method do we have to use to get the balance? So let's search for balance again. Script blockchain, script hash, get balance, script hash. It's probably this one. Int request with the method and the per and the script hash, like that. Let's see if that works. And it's waiting. Here we go. Here we got, okay, the balance is, this is the confirmed value and this is the zero. Don't be confused. This is not actually Raven. This is like, we have to split this with the uh, Satoshis, which, which is 100 million. So, to print out, we, we know that the result dot confirmed. So Raven balance dot confirmed split by 100. That should be 100 million. Let's uh, run it again. Aha, now we see that a couple of um, Raven and we don't like the format. We want to format this as a number. So we do to local string. Okay, so now we see that there's 11,600,000 Raven in this address. Uh, well, that's all. That's all. Uh, now we have um, been able to, um, from Node.js, connect to a Ravencoin Electrum wallet. And we learned how to ask for stuff about the network, such as uh, blockchain headers. We could ask the server what different features it has. We learned how to ask for um, metadata for assets. And to do that, we were able, uh, we had to um, do this very advanced stuff where we converted the address to a script hash. You learn new stuff every day. Uh, so this is nice. I mean, this is the, when you have this, you can actually start making like a wallet to show, um, that will probably be a future video where we like have a bit 39 uh, seed phrase your 12 words, let's generate some addresses from your 12 words, let's look up the balances for that. And then we can start making like a lightweight uh, wallet. 
Uh, but anyway, now we are uh, ready. And all this code will be uploaded to GitHub and a link to this code will be in the description in YouTube. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please give it a thumbs down. Uh, comment if you uh, have comments. And, uh, and it's really helpful because when we, if you subscribe or if you like, all this activity tells YouTube that uh, people are interested in Ravencoin and blockchain programming. And that's nice. So we help to um, make this community bigger. And if you have any other questions, just use the comment field in, uh, on YouTube. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye.